Yeah, so that is <laughs> where I will start. Why I am doing what I'm doing to get to where I would like to go. Reading this typewriter is much more than you would think on your eyes. <laughs> it's much more than you would think on your eyes. So instead I write mm -hmm, up a damn storm. Yep, no quitting, just words on paper up till now. I'm going to have to throw in some real motion and try to bring this thing alive. <laughs> It was happening, right in front of my eyes, bits and pieces at a time, some buds here, some flowers there. Never in my life have I appreciated spring as I do now. To watch nature slowly do its thing made me cherish every change as the days went by. One morning, I headed to the valley to chase the bloom when I ran into a friendly local getting his paper. I've never been down this side street. I... Welcome. Welcome to the valley. <laughs> Thanks. You're above the frost yeah, we don't have any flowers or anything. Uh, well, you always, it's one week, whatever's happening in Northampton, like lilacs, yeah. right now, one week later here, one week later up there. Yep, yep. So is Northampton, is there still flowers in the trees there? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, they're almost full of leaves. Oh, beautiful. I mean, the diameters. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these things are hollow in the inside. Really? Yeah, that's, they die from the inside out. Yeah, I so guess when that's... So when it will come down, uh, I will try to salvage as much wood. I've talked to a couple lumber yards that, because what I want is slices. I, I don't want... Firewood. I mean, I'll take firewood out of these things. Yeah. But I want, I want the, the wood with all the heartwood and the sapwood. Oh, for and sure. The live edge bark. Yeah, um, yeah. My yeah. buddy's a big. Uh, he works with a lot of sugar maple that was salvaged from Plainfield. Oh yeah. So he's made a bunch of tables and stuff, and oh. nothing like it. We had a great conversation for about ten minutes, and before he turned to go inside, I asked if I could take his photo. Williamsburg. May 2020, a new favorite photograph. The giant maples, the old truck, the robe, the paper, the quaint home, spring coming to life in the background. Sometimes it all just comes together. Spring had struck hard in the valley. It was a warm sunny morning and I putzed around in old blue, digging every little detail. at this old ball field Mason and I went to before a flight one fall morning. It had me reminiscing about Little League back in the day. I guess spring will do that to you. 
I used to play shortstop and pitch, and I miss it. I'd love to get a game going with the boys this summer. So I drove through a bunch of my favorite towns and countrysides that were coming to life with spring flowers, and I filmed a lot of it on different angles in my truck. I'm making some long-form versions of these raw videos available on my Patreon. They'll be great for putting on your living room TV as a background or screensaver, or putting on while you're doing a project or something. Some people even say they relax them and help them sleep. The link to my Patreon will always be in the description of these videos. place to develop the trout and coffee blend oh yeah was the i beam this thing's already done though under here yeah <laughs> wow. or i'm full of shit. Like, oh, so, uh, that, that's kind of like <laughs> damn so it, it will need some refinements to actually be a little bit bigger yeah um I think I just saw the Central Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Pierce Bros. Yes. Because uh, animators, I believe, for Adventure Time. Sure. So this one, all in good time, would be uh, less potent in terms of caffeine, so that you can drink it and with like a longer flavor. So yep. for a slow Sunday, like it's meant to be drinkable. And then I want to do one. I did this other logo similar to this. That's a chickadee. It's meant to signify creativity. And I want that to be like electrifying. Like. <laughs> Can, and then it, let's just be great right now that would taste really good. My roast together. Marketplace has been Oh my god, it's so pungent. Isn't that pungent? I freaking love that. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do this house blend, which is a Peru, Hondo, and Sumatra uh, roasted in two different ways. So it's six individual roasts put together. And then yeah, yeah, no. little symbols like that from nature. We tried so many different kinds of coffee in different combinations. I don't even need to mention that we were buzzing by the end. 
But those Pierce bros are no joke when it comes to coffee. They knew what I was looking for, and we nailed down two blends just as I had envisioned. I this is great. You want taste? Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. Really right, Chris. Makes such a different flavor than that. It does. Oh, you like that method better? Yeah. 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 Thousands of milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> I think we've done it. We've got a light roast. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just look <laughs> drunk. <laughs> a light roast for the morning, the creative chickadee, and the dark roast also for the morning. <laughs> Fell into the farming tin wearing this yesterday. <laughs> it's also where I acquired this puppy. <laughs> this is <laughs> quite a barrel. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah, no, it said it said uh, contains ha hazardous material, but I, oh, I yeah. figured no, it's probably fine. We got to uh, call the Euro man. Yeah, well, is it even worth calling him? He's not gonna. No, he's not gonna <laughs> make yeah. him. Well, truck, man. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. So you you uh, are you you're, I saw you doing a um a VW bus. Yeah, that's so cool. That thing's gonna be crazy. Thank you. I, I've always wanted a VW bus. Cool, so you got that on tape, now I'm going to jail. <laughs> yeah, right. we'll we'll see you guys, thanks. All right, take care. Hey, take care. Yeah. Drive safe. Yeah, it's nice out. Yeah, it is. Crush one of these. <laughs> yeah. Nice guys, drive safe. All right, man. That's the vanilla. Yes. do a better run, but let me know what you think. Will do. Yeah. I think it tastes good. It's just because you want a little sweeter. For sure. Cool. Yeah. All right, see you guys. See ya. See Welcome back. This is another trout giveaway. Before I also did another giveaway to my damn good kids on Patreon for the month of April. I create exclusive videos for damn good kids with behind the scenes updates, and I wanted to give you a little look into them so you can see what it's like. Also, my mom has been making these summer shirts we designed called pond shirts. They're really unique and just one of the things she's been working on lately. She gives updates on what she's making on her Instagram, at Joyce and Coffee. And if you'd like to order any of her handmade stuff, you can email her at Joyce at TroutandCoffee.com. She's been having so much fun communicating with you guys and getting to share her art with the world. She's been glowing lately. It makes my heart so happy to see. So it really feels like spring. The forsythias are in full bloom. There's buds popping up on the trees, especially in the lower elevations, like, like Pioneer Valleys, Northampton looks full. One of the things I gave away to my Patreons in April was a print. I've got a lot of cool things like this I made over the years that are longing for a good home. And my mom gave away a few of her handmade bags. Oh, also, by the way, new merchandise is coming out. I don't know when this video is gonna, gonna drop, probably on Sunday along with everything else, but wait till you see the new merch. Oh. It's so sweet. And here's a hat, by the way. I love having the ability to give back to you guys and communicate with you candidly on Patreon. If you're enjoying these stories, there's so much extra stuff there that will make these even more fun to watch. And I know I've been talking about Patreon and merch a lot, and it might seem like I'm constantly trying to sell you something, but I'm genuinely excited and I want to keep you updated on it all. And it is how I'm planning to survive moving forward. So any support makes a huge difference in my life. After all these years of promoting other people's products, it feels good to promote something of my own.
I've been testing the blends every morning. And I must say, nothing I've bought in the store comes close. <laughs> wow. That is, that is so good. No cream, <clears throat> totally black. It's so silky smooth and creamy with seriously bold flavor, but it's not, it doesn't taste burned. It doesn't taste over the top. It's a perfect Sunday morning coffee. <laughs> like genuinely top, top of the line coffee in every way. Made by people who care. All in good time. I, this is this is surreal. I'm drinking my own coffee. I cannot believe this. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what were you saying? When I was there the other day, the water was super high. So you know how we went far out on that rock? And one day I headed to Connecticut to see an old buddy. But first, I met a girl for a nice hike in the morning sun. Bay right on to Route 7 North. were slowly gaining color. I was meeting Hunter, one of the guys who helped me build my creative office. I'm working on a film about the office build for YouTube, and we were meeting to discuss details, and then go on a little adventure. <laughs> Holy smoke, dude. We were scouting swimming holes and daydreaming about summer. down the Farmington and fell in within the first few minutes. Luckily, the sun was warm and bright. <laughs> All along the river were fly fishermen. Seemed like every couple hundred yards. And in the one stretch that was too deep to wade, there was a massive mayfly hatch. First one I've seen this spring. Trout were rising all around us. Any fishermen out there know the feeling when you don't have your rod with you. Oh, torture. Fish rising all around us. Another one just jumped right there. I never processed it before, but when I was a kid, Yeah. You just get used to it. Yeah. Look at these right here. They're gigantic. We saw so many animals on the paddle. 
It was serene for most of the way. There's the eagle. Oh, that sounds actually quite perfect. Here, uh, paddle on the right. Paddle on your right. Yeah. Nice, peaceful day. Hunter's little town in Connecticut was really coming to life. Nearly full bloom. Cinco de Mayo, and we couldn't order tacos because the place was slammed. <laughs> so while we figured out dinner, we climbed to a cool place the hunter knew. And I spent most of the afternoon barefoot, which was the first time I've done that this year. I had to start breaking in these puppies for the summer days. to do this uh For those who are seeking advice, <laughs> so to speak. We ended up ordering pizzas and getting some Corona Primos and dining down by the river. Not a bad ending to a gorgeous day. And then I tried something crazy. I fasted for 60 hours. It started as missing breakfast because I was sucked into editing one of these videos, and before I knew it, it was the afternoon. So I started reading about fasting and the benefits and whatnot, and wanted to try it for myself. I wanted to see how long I could go. It turned into a mental challenge. It was hard as hell, especially since I was doing a ton of work during it. I'd love to try it again at the cabin with a more meditative approach. But this was cool. I like staying on my toes by challenging myself in new ways. It's similar to the feeling I get from a cold shower. You don't want to do it, and you don't have to do it, but that's the power of it. You opt for the discomfort. It gives you confidence to know what you're capable of withstanding. And so on the final morning of the fast, there was only one thing I wanted, a bagel with cream cheese and a coffee. Morning. Morning. Are you working on your coffee? Yeah, I'm gonna redo, redo the brakes and wiper motor and stuff. Good. You want chives? Yeah. I'll show you where they are and get you a book. Where are the bagels? Oh, they did get frozen. Yeah. 
hoodie. Weird. Why are they over here? Oh, wow. I mean, if you want to plant some... Who dare? Office, you can have them down at the office. Dad, go get out of the Definitely. <laughs> so just pick? Yeah, you just snap them off with your fingernails. Wow. And that's all they are? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Can, um, cut them up with scissors. I'll put them in a bag here. did I know that the day ahead would be one of my favorite days I have ever lived. Hello? Who's that? Who's that? No. <laughs> Already? Yeah, it's like, it's like 5.45. Oh, just time, <laughs> This little boy is still in bed at what time? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Two bagels, four eggs, two cups of coffee. Total rejuvenation. Transplant, you say? It was a beautiful spring Saturday, and I gave Mason a trout tapestry for his apartment. It was dump day, so he loaded up his Dodge with remnants of good times, and off we went. And on a whim, I said, wonder what Johnny boy's doing. And we decided to pop by and see if he was home. And he was. Him, his girl Maria, who made his smoothies, and his chicken. <laughs> Oh no, that, that was on me. Let's in the back. John had a few errands to take care of, and so did we. So we agreed to meet up later. And Mason and the Jan man moved some of the slabs that are going to be used in the cabin kitchen. I can't wait to show you what we've got planned there.
And then Mason snapped this film photo of me, another new favorite. All the film photos from our adventures and my daily life are available on my Patreon. Believe me when I tell you there are some gems in there and you won't see them anywhere else. Wow. In a purple folder. Look at the open page. There's supposed to be a picture there. <laughs> the picture. Go, we should go to the pond maybe, or are we just gonna hit Let's the go river? down the river. Come on, boys. And us the trans skip. Hold on, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, here's number one. Welcome here's home, number one. He yeah. said, welcome home again. So oh, wow. Insane. Look, this is me learning how to use the typewriter. We're going, we're going canoeing. That's the only reason I'm staying out. Then we're gonna drop your truck off down river. At the arch bridge? Yeah, that's the whole other step. That that we hate that step. We always hate this step. It's not that bad of a step. You're just driving. Yeah, you're just driving. All right, we're wasting vital time. Let's go, let's go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I ended up having to borrow my dad's Jeep to coordinate the drop-off, because John's truck died out of nowhere. He's got a hammer Old on. pup, his pride and joy. The truck he'd kept running against all odds, and the truck he couldn't bear the thought of losing. I'm saying we could just pick up the canoe and we could deal with this later. Just leave it for a couple weeks? Can, I got a chain in my back, you can just pull it and I'll start it. The old pull start. Yeah, I'm pissed off, man. I don't deserve this type of shit. I'm a good kid. Damn good kid. Damn good. Feels nice to get in the river. Always does.
honestly, flipping usually ends up being the most fun part. Have a right side. Oh, yeah. For fake it is to have a truck full of garbage. Parked in a pristine parking lot. Not a single bit of juice. <laughs> As you trod upon the cobblestone run. Oh. Hey, what's taking so long? Simple boys. Hey, hook this other side, please. Simple man. I'll go on the FGM. Hold on, hold on. We got equipment here. We got equipment here. We got particles. <laughs> Particle. Oh, my God, we do have some equipment there. Well, this was a good day. Gonna be sore tomorrow. What are you gonna do? I have no clue. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'll just take the valuables off it and maybe one of you guys can drop me off a Savoy. I'll take the valuables <laughs> off it. <laughs> that Shock was a perfect eggs. place to get out, by the way. Look at the time. Yeah, honestly. Oh, that was just right. Somewhere around there. Actually, it was right there. Yeah. It was right at that bend where that tree hangs over. It's quite the joke. <laughs> Still got the juice. Oh, jeez. Oh, the juice. So much richness there. So what are you going to do? He's writing a book. Yeah, man, it takes a little while, but... You're trying to figure out what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, You're just writing. Yeah, Which is writing, the best thing exactly. to do. And I'm enjoying writing, too. <laughs> Look, it makes so much noise. How did, yeah, it's so loud. It's so <laughs> loud, dude. I'm just clacking away. <laughs> That's good, though. What was that opening... Um, Line. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> so that is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sorry. that is where I will start. Why I am doing what I'm doing to get to where I would like to go. Reading this typewriter is much more than you would think on your eyes. <laughs> it's much more than you would think on your eyes. So instead, I write mm -hmm, up a damn storm. Yep, no quitting. Just words on paper up till now. Going to have to throw in some real motion and try to bring this thing alive. Just <laughs> try to feel it, you know? Don't have a damn clue how it'll all do it. How I'll do it. What is this? Bring, got it? <laughs> you got it! <laughs> you got it! Do it! Break, break off! Make things happen and do it or try. I mean, sort of the struggle. My only worries were at dinner and not getting lost. And of course, catching a nice brookie from the river a quarter mile away. I figured if I fished in the large cracks in the ice and at the bottom of a waterfall, it'd be success be successful in one. <laughs> Day six. Twice as nice as they come. She should have gotten more boxes, more matzo. Yes, she took a like to it. Five pound box and free, yup. Scored it at Beat Shop, it was on sale for Passover. Apparently you get $70 of coronavirus, you get free five pound box of Jewish crackers. So back to the meal we were making. Salmon, mm -hmm, nice, lemon, juice, saturated fish meat, layered with garlic and a drizzle of honey to retain that earthy sweetness. Love is in the air, sausage sizzling away in the stove. Mm -hmm. I love my life, I love my chicken, I love Savoy, we love each other, Adrian wrote that. She loves music, and I do too. Nobody took notice of the two kids in the car. A red car, the type of car a Richard drives. Like a caddy, but not sweet to the eye, but old as a brick in a church chimney. Got more miles on it than a 10 year old, a 10 year old 747. That makes it unique, right? These kids couldn't spell unique if they tried, wanted or needed to. The juice was incredible. It was full of life and rhythm. John's a born storyteller, an entertainer. He's not worried about spelling words right and following parameters. He's a soul writer. His words are gonna be known. And spending that afternoon with my two best friends had me thinking how I wouldn't trade my people for anything. 
I wouldn't trade our hills and rivers for anywhere else in the world. I need my four seasons. I need my critter sounds and I need my little adventures. Long as I got those, us damn good kids are gonna be all right. Because it probably goes, it go, it, the density diminishes in a hyperbolic way or mm -hmm. reverse logarithmic way, right? So the, um, um, at any rate, I made a calculation. And one day, I was having lunch with uh, my father.